Hi, I'm right back, I'm right back. I got hair in my hand, my phone, where I wrote my notes, soon be archived in my, my report. Let's not triplize my why my work now. In the upcoming Diamond Kessips app. And uh, yeah, I also, to end, I overall gave it a thumbs up, really. Um, in, this, in the case of the um, whole would be more than some of its parts. It still had the grandeur and the feel and the excitement of the Royal Rumble. The spectacle that is the Royal Rumble, right? And I'm not gonna lie, maybe like, maybe it helped I watched it with friends, like-minded wrestling friends um, at the house. <clears throat> like, was it was like four of us. We just marking out and betting and calling our picks to win and all this all sort of fun and having our own like little off screen podcast discussion off rec- like like not recorded podcast discussion after the after the match after after the the show. But yeah, what is that? But I, I give this a thumbs up. Like I'll start, right? I'll start. We can go fast forward to um to the matches. We can pop up the pre show. The yeah, show opened with the women's wear rumble. Again, I'm not gonna go down. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read off who came and when and when or events. I'm just gonna skip to the end. Natalia entered number one. Naomi returned up from TNA and entered number number two. Right? She what? That flashy entrance. Yeah, Cole. Just like when Mickey James came in like two years ago, mentioned that she won the TNA Knockouts Championship while she was gone. She got a big reaction. Welcome back. Welcome back, Chance. Um. To the end. Also had a entry. Also, this note. Jordan Grace made her obligatory TNA crossover debut, kind of. <clears throat> Jade Cargill came in number twenty-eight, and she did. She eliminated Nia Jax in spectacular back fa- fashion. Let me show up so recording with on my side cam right here. <laughs> so yeah, yo, I'm still hiring um a production crew like assistants to help me out. You know, so just be mindful of that. Yeah, I gave here again two and a quarter, two and three quarter stars, thumbs in the middle, pointing up. I like the heel. Like at the end of the day, when all said and done, when all the adrenaline goes away, right, and excitement goes away, a heel one, clean. I don't, you know, I want baby faces to win. I'm just saying. And also, so that's why I give a thumbs in the middle, pointing up. The match as a whole, like two and three quarter stars, just shy of three stars. Just like two is average, three is like very good, like very like a fun time. Like oh, that match is fun, right? So I gave it like two and three quarter, like leaning towards more so three stars as opposed to yeah, it's average what you expect. So yeah, the four way, um, what's it called? Like we all knew Roman was gonna retain. I no, I picked uh, Randy Warren as my wild card because like. Think about it, right? It's like, why does the championship have to change hands at Mania? Like, have it changed at, like, a Royal Rumble or non WrestleMania pay per view? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it builds that, it, it's, it builds that element of anything can happen and less predictable. You know what I'm saying? And, like, stuff like that happens, big shit like that. If the point stuff like that happens, like, at a pay per view, right? Like, you'd be like, yo, I should order this thing because anything can happen. You know, so yeah, that was yeah that was like that was like the like the game we had a who we thought was gonna win, who we want to win a, a wild card. So my wild card is LA Knight. My pick to win is Randy Orton, but we all knew Roman was gonna win, and he did. He took he took an RKO, a phenomenal forearm, a Styles clash, and a blunt force trauma, and still won. Randy Orton, AJ Styles took one spear, <laughs> and lost. A little pussy. But yeah, um, 20 minutes, again, it was like every Roman Reigns match, um, another two and three quarter stars, I'm not being lazy either, it's, that's what I thought it was, two and three quarter stars, thumbs in the middle pointing up, I'm also just copy and paste that rating that I get to the first match. Then we had Logan Paul, Logan Paul defeating Kevin Owens via DQ. The more I, the more I think about, the more I want to change my rating. I gave it three stars. Thumbs in the middle, pointing up. Hey, good night. Oh, good night, hey. I'm going for some shirt. I'll be here soon. All right, thank you, thank you. 
thumbs in the middle pointing up. Um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, like, again, it was a fun match for what it was. I hated the finish. That's probably come think about it too much. But the baby face looked like a fool. Like Kevin Steen was never got caught with that. Kevin Owens, I guess, is a fool. Um but yeah, baby face got caught cheating and got disqualified in the middle of winning. I will say this though, right? Like I thought I forgot his, I forgot his name. I'll put it written down here. Uh, that right, the breaking out in this article. I did not. Uh, Paul hit a big punch. Nope, I don't have the referee's name. Well, whoever the referee is, I thought at first the referee is just the slowest counter in all of history. Like, a worse counter than me at work. Like, <laughs> I thought he was like, I thought he was a worse count, a worse counter than the goddamn count from Sesame Street. One! Uh, uh, uh. Two! Uh, uh. I was like, what? I mean, what, what happened? Like, did somebody, did somebody fuck up somewhere? Was Logan Pope's kick out? And then he finally revealed, Oh, you got brass knuckles. Oh, you're disqualified. So, yeah, I like that. Bay face did something stupid, and he got disqualified. That's the reverse effect. That's, is the heel supposed to be the one doing stupid shit and getting caught and looking dumb? Not the baby face. It's just bad psychology. It's like, a, it's like the Keystone Cops or the competent ones, and the criminals were the fools I'm saying it's just it doesn't make any sense anyways uh did I skip something I did it oh no yeah only four matches yeah uh then we had the men's or well I should all even know by now that Cody World won back to back joins a very exclusive club I believe Austin Michaels and I want this wrong and Hogan I think Hogan those four people yeah I think, yeah, Austin, Michael, and Hogan. Now, now he joins them to be a back-to-back -back Rumble winner. So, two years or two consecutive years in a row. So, again, three stars, thumbs up. Jay Uso entered first. Jimmy Uso entered second. Um, Andrade entered fourth. This entered third. Uh, who else? Who else? Bronson, Reed. Not Bronson. Um, hold on. Not, uh, Braun Breaker entered number 20. I think he played the Brock Lesnar role because Brock Lesnar was, you know, rumored to be there, but was like pulled because of the whole, you know, going on with the uh, Vince scandal. His name is mentioned inside scandal. So, uh, yeah. Uh, CM Punk came in the 27. It came down to Cody and Punk. Cody, I said Cody Punk. Uh, Cody made Punk to win, and he immediately made it known. Because you saw um Seth and um Roman in the stands, like just watching the match, like from the luxury luxury box, or whatever the fuck. And uh, yeah, I mean this by all means was not the great greatest rumble of all time, but but like the last few minutes definitely like were great. And um, yeah, like again, like what we're expecting, you know. If I mean, that's not a total question, let me know. Like nine one seven tweet three nine five six, preferably use that mode of contact. I'll be right here all night if I have to. SGP Radio the podcast on SGP Radio, we live right now. You already know, so stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, I need an assistant here. It looks tacky when I turn the screen, turn the clip recordings off. So 